Hey guys, I'm Jonah, it's occasion, and today we're starting a new campaign, and I'm hoping this one will actually be a quick one. We're playing as the Empire again. Um, yeah, we played Carl Franz recently, and that was an epic, epic saga. This one, I want to be a nice, short, uh, snappy campaign, so we're playing one that's more objective-focused, and uh, the exciting thing here is we're still playing on hard and hard. That tends to be uh, the, the most balance of uh, difficulty and immersion. We can still build uh, thematic armies, um, and the enemies still throw armies at us, but it isn't just like, you know, a full stack every single turn and just tedious rubbish. Um, this is, yeah, most immersive, lets us play around the most. Uh, but I've turned endgame scenarios off. So uh, Black Pyramid, I think, would be a really, really fun one to have um, on this mode. Like, genuinely, I think it would be great. I think Vampiric Ascension would also be pretty damn good. Uh, either would be great for um, for Voltmar, I think, because nowadays he starts all the way down here uh, in the Southlands, which is very, very fun. So I think it's going to be a very fun campaign, and because his new thing is to get the Books of Nagash, you know, the same thing the Tomb Kings are after. It's very exciting. Um, it's it's just very more uh, objective focused. We can grab all the books and it gives us a load of insane buffs to our units. And you can end up with some pretty mad buffs to some pretty niche uh, units. Things like Empire Knights, Free Company and Flagellants. So this means we'll be playing a campaign very much unlike Carl Franz. Even though I did like the Free Company Militia, obviously they get sort of pushed aside at some point. Um, for, you know, front lines of halberds and things, then more professional troops. We can just play with the sort of ragtag rubbish, and they will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Phoenix Knights once we get all the buffs for them, with all the different books and things. It's going to be very, very fun. Let's say Phoenix Knights, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Guard. Anyway, elite units is what I'm saying. So it's going to be a very fun campaign, and, uh, yeah, kill a lot of skeletons and things. It's going to be exciting. Let's go. In the farthest southern reaches of the world, beyond the haunted tomb cities of Nehekara, is the land of unspoiled jungle and swamp, once isolated from the world for uncounted centuries. More recently, the Southlands has seen several of the world's races sail to its shores. Though a few uh, leave with anything other than tales of misery and death, even for those who find a foothold far enough from the interest of the cold-blooded lizardmen, there is a wilderness where invaders quickly become the invaded, and where hunters quickly become the prey. this place and strike down any who dare to rise again. Why the comet? That is my decree! Obviously, uh, we're still in you know, beta for, uh, for, for Immortal Empires, but I really hope they do bring the flyovers back. You know, with the, uh, the what do you call him? You know, the old man. Be wary though. You know the one, that guy. Um, you know, with him talking through the situation. I mean, obviously a lot of these are still sort of uh, almost placeholder. Like a lot of stuff is sort of, yeah, I think it works there. We'll see how people like it when they get hold of it. So doing voiceover is just an expensive waste. But still, I, I can't wait to see if they add that eventually. So, Cult of Sigmar, seek out the eight books of Nagash. I certainly will, they're up here, yay. I found them. <laughs> here they are, guys, we found them. No, we've got to chase them down. So one of them, the eighth book of Nagash is actually right here. And you can see it gives us plus 8 leadership for all of our armies, plus 8 melee attack for all of our armies, or plus 8 melee defense for all of our armies. Immediately that puts the stat line of something like Free Company in line with state troops. Uh, just immediately, which is amazing, you know, for them to be decent in, in melee like that. Very, very fun. Also, we get bonuses to Free Company anyway, uh, although we don't have any on us right now, which is a pity. So, uh, uh, Frinle von Dragon can join Voltmar the Grim here. Yeah, Voltmar, really cool starting army. I love that you start with a bit of artillery, some flagellants, and, you know, a nice smattering of other troops who can sort of play a bit of everything. I enjoy that a lot. So we start in Sudenberg. Uh, so for those who don't know, Voltmar the Grim is the Grand Theogenist, which means that he's the head of the cult of Sigmar. So the Church of Sigmar, Sigmar being the main, uh, you know, the main uh, uh, sort of god of the Empire. He was the very first emperor and became a god later, sort of after the fact, people worshipped him. Kind of like in the 40k um, style, you know, the Emperor of the Imperium sort of became a god after the fact, after he, you know, uh, well, is sort of treated as a god, at least. You know, whether he is or not is uh, debatable, I don't know, in 40k, but still, you know the drill. Uh, similar vibe, similar origin story. Empire for empire. But anyway, uh, Dune Kingdoms, we're going to fight them, because I want to see our army. 
All right. So, as uh, Grand the Orgenist, he's uh, essentially a battle pope. Is is his role? Uh, he's he's a battle pope because Warhammer. Alright. I mean, faith is your shield, but did you did you bring a shield? He didn't even bring a shield. No, he really he just brought faith. Oh, I'm not sure that's wise. Not sure that's wise. I'm sure he'll be fine though. God, I really do love the desert maps. I mean, look at this. With the new lighting in Warhammer 3, they are absolutely stunning. Really great. Alright, you can start shooting at them. Uh, let's start wheeling you around, I suppose. Alright, let's just uh, start peeling off, shall we? We need to catch him out. You lot can run right in. Um, let's see if you can get some shots in there. He's probably going to end up walking straight into melee. That's fine, though. And yeah, we're getting rid of these guys. Yeah, we're whittling him down. I'm going to try and move around, though, because I can get to those skeleton archers quite happily. Now, let's use the old Grand Hammer of Sigmar, the Battle Prayer, so we can pull our guys' uh, stats up a bit. Very, very nice. Load of stuff already starting to waver. And, yep, yeah, you're doing great. Okay, you lot charge in. Please do try and kill him. Come on now. Are you going to shoot? Oh yeah, they got some shots in. Alright, that's good news. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, you can probably stop, actually, Mortar. I think you can probably stop. So there's a real uh, quirk with the game at the moment. They didn't used to exist, which uh, I, I think I'll, I'll you know, try and warn people of at the moment while it's still present. But if you're in a locked group, um, I think this is a result of people complaining that people would, uh, that troops would keep falling out of combat. Uh, but they've made it now that if you're in a locked group, occasionally your units will try and sort of get back into formation to sort of throw themselves into nearby combat, uh, which can be really, really annoying. It can be useful. Like the flagellants we had over there ended up just engaging with the, um, uh, with the, with the cavalry straight away. We didn't even have to, didn't even have to worry about it. Very nice, just shooting him point blank. So we have fire damage, which is very handy, because all the Tomb King lords and heroes are actually weak to fire damage. So really just showing showing this guy what for. With uh, faith, a bit of steel, I imagine, and uh, gunpowder. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Decisive victory. Jobs are good. Um, but yeah, so be careful if you are locking your groups. Uh, and you want to peel someone out of combat is the main thing. So if you have, say, uh, I don't know, quite a squidgy lord, you know, if you have like a spellcaster lord or something and you want them to run into melee to begin with, but you want to pull them out later, um, and you pull them out, they might just run back into combat. <laughs> so put them in their own group. Every time you want to peel a unit off, make sure to group, to regroup it, you know, so it's in its own group and not going to get, um, not going to try and drag itself back into combat. Because, yes, it's really jarring at first when you're not used to that behaviour. So, you know, I'm warning everybody. Okay, let's uh, pardon the captives, because it gets us a bit of money. There's no captives to pardon, of course, because they're all dead. So, you know, there is that. The campaign movement range went up. Lovely. Really nice to have a messenger. Good early, early get. Uh, we're actually going to encircle them for now. And let's have a look at Vogmar. So one thing we do want to do, uh, I'm going to do some high-level uh, tactics here, right? These abilities are all ludicrous. They are absolutely insane. This one, right, needs two of the preceding skill points, and this you can only get at level 12, all right? So what we're going to try and do is when we get to around, like, level 9, we're just going to stop spending skill points so we can get all of these done at once. All right, that's what we want, because this gives us... Uh, 20% casualty replenishment rate for the whole army, and everyone gets strength of the penitent, which gives um, sort of like a, a, a 15 second cooldown three enables if in melee recharges when losing weird, funny bonus of physical resistant melee defense, but like massive physical resistant melee defense bonuses, um, sort of periodically in a weird kind of way. If we're losing, suddenly we get a, a new bonus of, of that, which I think is really cool. So it gives you a second wind. Uh, really interesting. 
And then we have uh, Blessed Holy War for extra hero capacity for Warrior Priest and Witch Hunters. Uh, hero action success goes up for them as well, and corruption goes down the local province, which is fine, but hero capacity is quite nice. Tools of Absolution enables flaming attacks for the whole army and gives them all plus three armor piercing damage. Amazing. And uh, War Eternal gives 20% uh, extra speed for Flagellants, Empire Knights, Free Company, and Militia, as well as Wayfarer ability, which is acceleration, deceleration, and Strider bonuses. Strider means you aren't uh, affected by terrain penalties, so running uphill, you can run uphill as fast as you otherwise would. Uh, also puts up charge bonus by 10. Just a static bonus for Flagellants, Empire Knights, and Free Company. Amazing. And uh, Mere Mortal Men gives Frenzy to all Free Company militia, which means if they're not wavering, uh, if they don't have you know less than 50% um, leadership, they're going to get a huge bonus to uh, base weapon damage, armor piercing damage, charge bonus, and melee attack. It's crazy. Also, they're going to get Blessed Bullets, which is magic armor piercing projectiles for Free Company militia. It's mental. It's absolutely crazy. So, really good stuff. Uh, we're also going to get a few other um, bits on the way. Warrior, um, sorry, uh, uh, battle, battle prayers, rather. I was going to say warrior prayers, no, battle prayers uh, are really good too. So damage resistance and Grand Soul Fire has a really short cooldown on uh, on Voltmar, especially when you get second nature with that minus 50% cooldown to battle prayers. You can just use it over and over again. So he's got some really good abilities. Absolutely stunning. So we will get to those. Uh, so we're going to... I might just auto-resolve this one, honestly. It's just going to be another land battle. Just going to be another land one. This uh, minor settlements just cause land battles now. I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the change. I liked minor settlement battles. Uh, I also like some land battles, but um, I don't think turning minor settlement battles into land battles is the answer, really. Because you just don't see minor settlement battles anymore. And they're great. They're really good maps. I prefer them to the main, like, settlement battles, which you still end up having a ton of. So, yeah. I don't know. Uh, go with Grand Soulfire. And for Friendly Von Dragon. Let's get Bloody Blade, why not? And now let's start recruiting. Obviously we're going to go Free Company, because you know, they're amazing. Uh, and we're going to want to get Bagar and Antok. A little bit further on, we're actually going to find Manfred von Karstein, which I find really fun. Uh, the fact that uh, Voltmar is still up against Vampire Kings. That was sort of his his sort of uh, through line. That was sort of his narrative for, um, well, just Voltmar the Grim generally, but also in Warhammer when he was introduced. It was him versus Helm and Gorst. So for him to still be against uh, one of the von Karsteins is really fun. I really like that. Because, yeah, they both moved. So, let's go with state, uh, state troop standards, so we can get extra speed for our infantry. We are going to be dealing with infantry a lot, with all the free company and flagellum bonuses and things. We're also going to go for extra armor for infantry and extra melee defense, charge bonus, improved weapons, the lot. Although that is, I mean, that puts up weapon strength, but the expert charge bonus for halberdiers, I don't know how many halberdiers we're really going to have. Maybe a few. Actually, I've changed my mind immediately. I'm going to go tie the rebase first with the growth, then I'm going to go all in with the infantry. Yeah. I'm allowed to change my mind. Uh, also, let's go growth here as well. Boom. So we will want to get over here. Ideally, we want to take these two areas, because we're currently at war with them, and then run over here to get the uh, get the big bonus for the Book of Nagash. But I imagine the Vampire Canterbury can declare war at us, and getting rid of them early might be a good idea. So we'll see how that all goes. I also want to have a quick look, see if anyone wants to be friendly with us, and it looks like no one wants anything to do with us. Which... It was always going to be likely. Okay. So. Yes. Many blessings. Uh, we're going to go for this one first. We're going to Antok last. So, let's get some more free company militia. Lovely. We're on our way. I mean, that's it, right? That's the whole turn. What an exciting turn. The Nekrark Brotherhood are destroyed already? Well, good for them. <laughs> they like being dead, right? That's, that's the thing. Uh, so we're going to get Accusation. Really, really nice. Lowers uh, Missile Resistance, Physical Resist, Melee Defense, and Armor. So just a massive, broad range of debuffs for any target. Really, really good for helping assassinate um, big, juicy targets. So, Dune Kingdoms, we're here for you. Uh, we really don't need to fight this either, do we? 
I'm just worried auto resolve is going to screw us. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's spread out the damage a fair bit. We're all right. Okay, so Bagar, it is getting a bit of money, but it could get more, couldn't it? Uh, yes. No, actually, that gives us 200. That only gives us 250. And no one wants to trade with us, so actually, that's probably the way to go. So we have just unlocked the Tata Souls, which I am going to recruit. And I suppose I'm also going to get a couple of archers, maybe? I don't really want to use global recruitment. I want to stay on the move. So, uh, yeah, let's get a couple of archers. Just a couple of archers would be useful. You know, we'll have our free company as our front line, because they will actually be quite capable in melee before long. And, uh, yeah, they also can get a nice clear shot with their guns, archers behind them. It's not a bad starting army. Barded Warhorse for Voltmar, very nice. The large broad steeds favoured by the knights and nobles of the Empire have a, a, temper, uh, a temperament to match their size. I'm going to say a temperature. That's, that's not a thing. Yours. Uh, and then second nature, so we get the really quick battle prayers. So Grand Soulfire, we are just going to be spamming. It's it's crazy against sort of these sorts of armies where we're up against a lot of skeletons or a lot of zombies or whatever else. Voltmar can rack up hundreds of kills in a battle. It's really good. All right, plane of Tuskers over here. We're going to upgrade, and then we're going to take out uh, King Pentu over here before heading to. Um, to Manfred von Karstein. So this one, close victory. We will lose our flagellants if we don't fight it ourselves, which I think means we should probably fight it ourselves. Uh, we can't replace the flagellants, which is a shame. I really love to see flagellants, but for so many reasons, I would love to see them get the same treatment as slayers uh, for the dwarfs, where you just have them appear. You know, you, they just flock to you over time, and you could just get them from a recruitment pool because it would really undo the fact that I think unbreakable units in campaign are just terrible. Because where you would normally have a unit just run off if it's lost the fight, they just stay there until they're dead. And then you have to recruit a new one. And recruiting more units instead of just relying on replenishment is an absolute pain. It is so annoying. Um, it's expensive. It can it can really just screw you over when you're trying to move. Um, you know, sort of keep moving. You have to suddenly stop to recruit them. It's rubbish. But, flagellants, they, I mean, they're not professional armies. You should be recruiting. They're just people who turn up and you go, all right, sure. Die for me. Brilliant. Yeah, you can go die in the name of Sigvar. Join our army. Off you go. You can run in first. That's what that's what their job is. But the fact you have to recruit them, and that's a nuisance. It, yeah. So anyway, I would love to see them get that treatment. And then we wouldn't have to care if they die. It's what they're for. Anyway, let's go. All right, very moody, very moody map, isn't it? Very moody. Also, uh, moody and the clouds are in perfect formation. Interesting. Behold the light of it happens. So uh, let's go. See, when it's over the battlefield like this, you don't really notice that they're all perfectly spaced so much, do you? When it's like stuff going on, but when you see it over here, it's like, oh yeah, no, yeah, it's completely perfectly spaced. All right, sure. Mortar, <laughs> you do that. Free company. What are you doing? Where did you stop? Grim. Unusual. Offering All right, you guys, uh, just charge in. Send us out. Like Take loonies. For the twin and you guys, I think I'm going to put For on guard steel. mode and melee mode. I'll give the order again. Peel them off. Charge them in. So uh, we're just going to start using things like Grand Soul Fire on these guys. Yeah, we'll start doing some good damage. In fact, I'm going to go for the Nehekara Warriors. They only have 45 armor, so Grand Soul Fire should do some work. Are getting shot at? No worries. No worries at all. Mortar starting to get some damage in. That's what I like to see. Come on, more of you. More of you get stuck in here, yeah? Okay, this might be a mistake. Is I'll uh, figure that out later. Sigma guides us. Take position. Okay, let's peel you off. And actually, you just you stop there. Actually, you stop there. Start shooting. Okay, let's pull you up and around. Alright, this is a problem. I mean, not a problem. 
just, you know, it's just there. <laughs> oh, Voltmar, my oh boy. Yeah, please do. Now oh, we got problems. <laughs> He's running away. Like, he can still take damage, you know, he's, he's not the most survivable until he gets his, uh, his quest items. Alright, push you straight down the middle. He'll be back though, don't worry. Uh, let's just throw you straight in. Let's line you guys up. Okay, let's double you back so I can charge you lot on through. Ushabti are charging in now. Very cheeky. Ah, yeah, here we go. He's back. Alright, now we're going to charge into these guys and keep using Grand Soul Fire on them. It's going to be great. And you can start chasing them down. Yeah, this is a little iffy for them, isn't it? Sure is. Yeah, you keep chasing them. Might be a bit of a toughie. Might be a bit of a tough one for them to get stuck in there. Moving now. Moving now. Okay, let's get our mortars on a better target. Yeah, looks like they're starting to break. Ah, oh, that's a shame. If we could have reached them, that would have been really good. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's use Grand Soulfire again. Alright, more damage. Racking up a few more kills. Nothing major. These guys hadn't taken much damage yet. And, okay, they're, they're out of the fight. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's hit King Pen 2 again. So we are going to be able to use Grand Soulfire again, very shortly. See? Told you it's ridiculous. Okay, let's line you up. These free company can move back. And, oh no, they're trying to... Shoot me again, aren't they? Cheeky. Alright, there's a great damage over here. I'm gonna put up his resistances. Another soul fight here. Look, he's almost got 100 kills. Yeah, another one in here. Hopefully they won't crumble. I know it's a weird thing to hope that they don't crumble, but I want to get more kills. And, whoops. Yeah, 160 kills. Very nice. And look at these guys. You notice how these guys just ran into combat? Didn't give them any orders. It's because they're in a locked group. So they decided to just do it. It's really annoying. I'm genuinely not a fan of that change. I, I don't know why they did it. The stuff running into combat when you don't know it's going to run into combat is... Insane. It's just a waste of units. You have to constantly regroup things is, is just... It's very obnoxious. So I hope they do change that. Yeah, they didn't change it the latest patch. You know, they didn't revert it back in the latest patch, but maybe. Maybe one day they will. Alright, so we did okay. Uh, and yes, I did use Voltmar very uh, aggressively. He survived. So, Tomb Raider. Glory and riches await those brave enough to dare walk their halls. I should leadership when fighting against Tomb Kings, which I don't need. Really don't need. Banner of Swiftness, extra 30% speed, Strider and Wayfarer. Now 30% speed is very nice. Definitely give that to some of our cavalry. Banner Empire Knight is going to make him ruddy quick. So, Mr. Instrument, what have you got for me? Uh, let's go with... Um, Root Marcher and Inspiring Presence. So we want to get Emperor's Finest maxed out. So all of our uh, state troops have extra melee attack and defense. Which isn't much, granted it's, you know... A couple of swordsmen or whatever, but the righteous still useful to have. Uh, let's get you elusive. Cool. Blessings of Sigma uh, you. More free company here. Thank Defender you, Antok, for having faith. a training field. Very, what? very nice. Because yeah, I just want a bunch of uh, bunch of free company. A whole bunch of them. They're gonna get real good. Uh, so the Bowman of Orion. Speak I they're can see they're happy to have another aggression pact. Maybe they'll want to trade one day. Darkness. You know, Thou maybe they'll want to trade. Uh, so this is surprising. The, our neighbours most likely to have a non-aggression pact with us are the Von Karsteins, who are sort of um, Voltmar's mortal enemies. 
That's very silly. <laughs> That's very silly. But I kind of love it. Alright, moving on. Okay. Volkma, my boy. We're going to go to Bagar, and then we're going to head to Kasabar. I'll probably set up an ambush or something, and then declare war on them. Um, see if we can catch them out. I think that's probably the smartest move. Uh, I also want to swap out these archers for maybe a couple of swordsmen. I think it's probably a good idea. Although, actually, just getting more free company is probably the way to go. Screw it, more free company. Let's go mad. Okay. Uh, again, that's it for the turn. Let's move on. Okay, we've got the tithe rebate. So rebate is a useful tool when things are good to ensure compliance during the hard times. Inevitably, just around the corner. Growth and control go yes. up. Good. So, uh, let's move you over here. Guides my steps. Actually if quite a lot lies, around here, huh? I'll take uh, I mean, that actually has some force to it, but these are mostly zombies and, and necromancers, which means more zombies. Uh, so I'm going to ambush here. We're slightly in our own territory. Ambush chance is shocking in a desert. Turns out you can't really hide in a desert very well, uh, but it doesn't matter. The fact that all these guys are around, if they do attack me, fine. Just genuinely, I don't mind at all if they, if they come for me. If they see me, they'll probably attack me, and then I'll kill them all. Alright, state troop standards. Let's start upgrading things. Extra armor is going to be incredibly useful. Incredibly, incredibly useful, because currently 25 armor, not that great. Not that great. Not to 40, still not great, but damn sight better than what they currently have. Okay, that's amusing. They actually didn't see me. But they ran off in a completely different direction. So I should be able to catch this guy out. Should be able to catch him out pretty easily. Depends how far he runs. We are going to be quite off the beaten path though. By chasing him all this way, but it is what it is. Um, so we probably don't need to fight this at all. But I sort of want to because it's an army of zombies. And I think it'll be funny to gun them all down. So I'm gonna... And here we are, in a forest. Okay, well, jungle, more like. Ooh, ooh, we got some, we got some skeletons over here. Big old skeleton. God, I really like the desert maps. They're really good. They're really ooh, and look at that. I mean, this is straight out of the mummy. Also, this is what sandstorms look like. You know, Darud would be proud. So, let's line up these lot. Uh, you say by the Jade Griffin. You don't have the Jade Griffin. We haven't done that quest battle yet, mate. Uh, let's get you lot all lined up behind. And, uh... Oh, hang on. I missed one. I missed one. It's okay. It's okay. And let's line you up too. Alright. That should do it. So we're going to shimmy forwards, put everyone on guard mode. And you know what, I'm going to turn off the, the locked group, see if they actually behave themselves a bit better when they're not locked. It just means you can't issue orders as easily, which is uh, very annoying. But yeah, really weird behaviour, I'm just running into combat. Very odd. Jacques. So yeah, bunch of shots coming in. For the Emperor. Wow, mortars actually is kind of cleaning up. It's because they're just not good at moving out of the way. The, the AI is really good at just avoiding shots. So, oh, they did tweak that in the latest patch. It depends on difficulty now. Alright, go on, Voltmar, do your thing. Or, you know, allow Sigmar to do his thing through you. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's get the knights in. Sigmar speaks through me. <laughs> a lot of very nervous looking necromancers as their army is 
shot to ribbons. Which matters, apparently. Do some damage with this while we're here. Grand Soulfire. Mm, yeah, it's great. Hang on. Oh, it's 100 kills. Let's put your melee attack up, because we can. Might as well, eh? Might as well. Okay, let's charge you lot in. We've got on four seconds to get to the Grand Soul Fire. It's just constant. It's insane. What would be really nice with abilities is if you could right-click them. And it would just turn them on auto, so they would just trigger whenever they were available. Wouldn't that be nice? Set them to auto-cast? Because it wouldn't always be, like, an optimum time. Sometimes it would be, like, a really bad time for it. So yeah, I just think that'd be quite fun. If you are just in a slog like this, go, I'll just use that. It's okay, you can spam it, so spam it. Okay, so I'm lining up because I want to shoot this guy. I want to get in with accusation and have all these guys blast him. That's what I want to do. And, wow, okay. <laughs> oh, that... That Master Necromancer is a master of getting shot in the face, apparently. Yeah, just not going so great for him, huh? Not going great for him at all. Oh, and yeah, he's nearly dead. Good neck. Alright. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well played, boys. Well played. Faith Stealer Gunpowder does it again. Well, okay. Um. Do, 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 do. Pardon the captives, because we get a bit of money out of it. Don't need unit experience. Yeah, we just. Um, we lost 14 men. It's ridiculous. Well worth fighting, though, because it was funny. It was funny, guys. So we're doing it. Uh, right, now I think I might want to um, get back on track. I think we will be able to reach that. Fine, so we don't need to rush. Uh, Manfred von Karlstein might come down here to defend, in which case we can just kill them all, right? Although, Kassabar does have a lot more troops in it than, uh, actually, yeah, a lot more than Springs of Eternal Life. So if we did have to attack that and Manfred von Karlstein, that could be quite a battle. I think it'd be quite a fun one. I think it'd be quite good. Yeah. Also, Sudenberg, are you ready to level up yet? I would love you to be leveled up. Four more turns. Okay, four more turns and we can get that up to a town. I really want to get a, um, a chapel shrine of Sigma. Yeah, I really want to get one of these so we can get warrior priests. Because warrior priests are great. Although, actually, hmm, although it's sort of off-brand, I would also really like to get a wizard's conclave because you can get that at tier three. Ooh, yeah, being able to get a wizard would be great. That would be sort of a big deal. Yeah, I kind of want to have a bright wizard. Because that's the thing. Uh, Voltmar's army. Uh, the, no. The, no. The, this one. Uh, enables flaming attacks on Lord's army. Every time we use any spells with a bright wizard, provided we you know, spent the right skill points, um, it triggers a 22%. Um, actually, is it 22 anymore? Anyway, it gives fire weakness to the entire enemy army for a little while, so it would it would be very good. But it seems weird not having a chapel of Sigma here. So I don't know. What's that shrine? Shrine of Sigma, not a chapel. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like when we do get to that tier. The gods are angry. Well, that won't do. We're a battle pope. We really rely on our gods. Uh, the omens are ill. Something you have done has angered the gods, yet they are fickle. They may forgive you in time, or more immediate appeasement might be necessary. I'm going to give them a tribute. Um, feels uh, appropriate yes. my character, and we can reach Kassabar. Brilliant. This is going to be a tough old battle, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a rollicking good time. Let's go. Hello there, Manfred. It says we're going to lose. I disagree. I disagree. We're going to win. I have decreed it, thus. Uh, right, let's find. Alright. 
Well, here we are. Here we are, guys. Uh, where do we want to go? Attack from here, maybe? I tend to attack where I land, but um, there's a million towers here. This is just like suicide to attack from this direction. It's just it's just real dumb. Uh, so I might attack from over here. I can sort of line free company along here, and you know, as they sort of come down the various little routes. I think we'll probably do quite well there, out of that. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so you lot. I think you're all Vanguard, of course, because you're free company. And we got you lot lined up. Uh, so these guys think I'm going to go for the walls, because I think they'll mostly be Graveguard on the walls. Flagellants. So I want stuff that can sort of handle it, although Flagellants probably can't handle it, but they'll stay alive and won't mind being mortared into the ground, and that's more important to me. Uh, these guys, I... I mean, handguns have to hang back, don't they? Crossbowmen, I want to just shoot at whatever is available. Gonna have knights. Yeah, I guess our knights and characters can go for the walls. Along with the halberds. That gives us a pretty good spread. And I guess the swordsmen too. So let's do that. Let's do that. You lot, go for there. You lot, move in. And uh, the free company, I really want to line the walls. Really want to line the walls with them. And it kind of looks like they're going to let me, which is weird. In which case, maybe I won't put these guys up there and I'll just have a free company all run in. Let's do that. Uh, have they all found. They all have found a, a section of wall. Perfect. That's really good news. God, I wish we had a bright wizard. But yeah, if I can get free company all along here, they can just blast at any of this stuff. They'll do a great, great job. Uh, although I'm a little sad, actually, that there aren't any graveguard along the walls. Because they're really good to mortar. You know, they're a really good target for that. So warriors. There's a graveguard up there. Alright, let's 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 move forwards. Got handgunners as well. Uh, oh, oh, there he is. I was wondering where he was. I was like, why Why are there no great swords? Did they run off? No, they just were lagging behind for some reason. Right, let's move you up. Always got through the walls. And yeah, hopefully these guys will be on the walls and they'll start shooting nice and quickly. There's mostly zombies coming in, which is good. Really gives us a good opportunity to, to get stuck in over there. And yeah, if we can just start fighting down here. Uh, then hopefully stuff will just start coming, you know, one at a time, and we can start shooting at them. We'll see. So, let's go for those Grave Guards, yeah? So we can start hitting these guys. We hit these guys a lot, though I don't really want that to be the case. But we'll have other decent units that can start funneling in, too. Alright, Skeleton Warriors. I'm coming for you. Oh no, are you going for the... Oh no, cheeky boy. I never see them do that. Oh, they changed their minds. Oh no, they haven't. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on boys. Kill them. Kill them, boys. We really don't want to lose them, you know. It'll be alright, I'm sure. Uh, okay, those free company are doing terribly. To fell bats and oh, cripples, I guess. Yeah, things aren't looking too hot over here. Like at all. And yeah, the mortars. In fact, it can't shoot is very disappointing. Really hoping to hit these guys. All right, well, let's keep blasting them, I suppose. But no, we we got those fire guys. We good. Yeah, this is scary. Uh, let's get a great swordsman up here. No, we lost them. Don't know where they're going to run. That's okay. Alright, we're going to be here for a long time, but that does mean that Voltmar is going to stack up a billion kills. So, you know, when in Rome. Okay, stop running. Oh no, they're going to touch the side. Yep, yeah, there we go. Lost our mortars. You know what? They crushed it. 
They crushed it. They know they crushed it. They know they crushed it. Probably worth the Vargeist, honestly. Let's do that again. Yeah, I got more withdrawing over here. That is fine. Not a problem. Not a problem. Although this is a problem. It makes these guys still alive. Oh, we got Tattersalls. Lots of flagellants. Slide these walls. Yeah, we're going to lose them too. But it's okay. We've got great swords climbing up here. They're going to do great. Oh my god. Even more. Even more chances to smite everyone. And I always hit these out of order. I don't know why they added a wind up to any abilities. Like, none of them need a wind up. But they have a wind up. So you can't just, like, hit all your abilities. It's not like they all need a resource or anything, you know, it's not like you need time to channel, it's just, no, just hit them, just get them, you know? Very odd. Okay. Manny's camp, and that is actually a significant problem. Because we do need to be able to kill him, and Manny can beat us in melee. So yeah, we need, we need to be able to kill him. Might be a problem. And we are still stuck here. We are still stuck here. Come on, guys. How have you not got through these yet? Still haven't got through them. <laughs> we can do the great soul fire in a second. Yeah, we're getting pretty hurt here. Okay, well, you know what? We're getting away from Manny. Let's just stay away from him. Alright, let's stay away from him. We're getting so many kills. And that's kind of what we need, right? We just need to get a bunch of kills. Uh, speaking of a bunch of kills, what are you doing exactly? Crossbows. I want you to shoot these guys, ideally. Well, there's a battle prayer. Nice. I mean, we're getting through them. We're getting through them. There's still a lot going on, and... Manfred von Karstein is still uh, doing fine, which worries me a little. And, ooh, things are not looking good for our witch hunter either. Okay, are you done yet? Almost. Okay, good. Good. Let's get you guys down here, yeah? I need you guys start shooting to the side here. <laughs> I need you to keep blasting them all. 400 kills we got here. Yeah, Manny is a problem. For sure. We just can't get through these guys quick enough to get any of our other units in here. This should help, though. God, look at all that. Alright, 88 kills. Good. They're actually starting to shoot into this crowd, which is what we want. 121 kills for the Great Swordsman. Flagellants are doing great. He's on 160 kills. I mean, Skeleton Warriors, sure, but... Really proving they're worthwhile. You guys are shooting, right? Yep, they're shooting. Yeah, hundreds of kills. Yeah, witch hunter's running away. I mean, I would too, so don't blame him. Ooh, grave guard are on the way. I'm amazed that Kevin von Lloydstein is still going. They still have control of those towers somehow. That's crazy. Three company running. We got handgunners as well. Let's uh, let's climb them up here. Okay. Let's line them up. Uh, Voltmar is having a bad day. He's having a bad day. And so are the great swordsmen. Somehow. Still got some more flagellants. Uh, I guess I'll send them up too. Well, guys, how you doing? Uh, those graveguard. Oh, those graveguard are doing great, which I'm not happy about. Don't like it when the graveguard are doing great. So are these handgunners. Oh no, he's he's still going. Ooh, we got problems. All right, let's weaken Manny. I got some cavalry starting to run in. I mean, all of this stuff should do great. Nice. Okay. Hand gunners. Hand gunners, you're climbing up there, right? Nice. 
Uh, Flagellant still absolutely crushing it. That tower is shooting at us though, which I'm not happy about. Why do you keep fighting them? I mean, seriously, are you guys shooting? I can't even tell right now. Guys? Guys? I mean, look, look. They're right here. Okay, now they're shooting. Okay, good. This guy's a little confused. Which I think is okay. <laughs> no, not okay. Stop! <laughs> Climb down! Jerk. Right, how are you doing? 150 kills? Can you shoot into these Black Knights, maybe? These flagellants, absolutely crushing it. 360 kills? That's nuts. I'm amazed Free Company is doing as well against uh, that White King as they are, actually. And Voltmar is still stuck in here, which is kind of annoying. I was hoping he'd have gotten out of that fight so we could bring him back in. We had 560 kills. I mean, he'll get out of that fight eventually, but... Quite frustrating. Okay, good. Yeah, he's, he's getting red. And our hand gunners are finally in a position to start shooting. Oh, yeah, Flagellant's doing a great job. Crossbowman! Nice. And yeah, that White King having a bad, bad day. Really good to see it. Alright, shoot this great gun. If you would. Oh, Black Knight's on their way in, too. Flagellant's still tearing through these guys. Uh, you still have some ammo. That's alright. Can you guys shoot them, maybe? Now, where is Voltmar? Here he is. Good. Let's bring him back in. And we can start buffing some folks as well. Kevin Von Lodestein, almost gone. Okay, come on, boys. Held an hammer. They're still shooting us with these towers. Very annoying. But, uh, 420 kills to flagellants. These flagellants, guys. Oh, these flagellants. And you're doing pretty well, too, actually, guys. Can you shoot from there? Yes. They're being a little bit rubbish at firing at will. Like, they'll be in range of stuff, and they're not really listening lately. Okay, let's just get you in over here. I'll hit with one of these, then we'll run away again. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's, it's like they knew. It's like they knew. It's alright. He'll be fine. I mean, he might be fine. You don't know. You don't know. Alright, we, we finally got to the gates, apparently. So we are winning this. We are winning this. Hundreds of kills all round. Except for you, you're doing terribly. Okay. I will. Yep. Yep, that went well. Okay, suddenly they're looking uh, pretty weak. It's mostly just zombies and things. Yeah, we're looking in very good stead. Okay, let's get you guys... Oh, I don't know. Going for those dire wolves, I suppose. Start moving up that way. Let's start getting some buffs down. Now I'm going to run over here. Okay, I'm going to run over here. I'm going to use another Grand Soul Fire to hit these guys on the edge. Because, you know, I'm cheeky like that. Oh, we pretty good out of that fight. <laughs> nice. 579 kills now. Flagellant's still fighting. They're still going. There's Graveguard in there. Even the Graveguard aren't really, uh, really holding out there. Almost got rid of Manny. Almost. Almost. And, okay, let's move over here. Get this Graveguard with yet another soul fire of the grand variety. And, you know, pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. 
I almost got rid of Manny. Once we do, I think it's going to be army losses. There's still a bunch of zombies here. Fighting at flagellants. Yeah, they're crumbling. They're crumbling. Manny has no health left. Okay, good. Let's get over here and use yet another Grand Soul Fire, because we have another one. Uh, chasing them down, and they are very unhappy about it. Yeah, that's going to be army losses. Yep, yep, that's army losses. There we go, it said we were going to lose, and uh, it lied, although brilliant move, getting rid of the uh, the artillery. I don't think I've ever seen the AI actually use its flying units to deal with things in the back line in a siege. Usually they just wait for you. I mean, god, Warhammer 2, do you remember? They used to just hang out in the like town centre until you destroyed the rest of the army, and then they would just break to army losses. <laughs> and that was all flying units ever did. So to actually go for artillery, really good to see. Like, I actually need to defend my artillery now. Okay. About the phone talk. Actually kind of useful, actually. It uh, affects flying units. That's a nice significant uh, drop to melee defense and armor. That will affect other sort of lords and things, which is rather nice. Provided they're flying, of course. Uh, right, we're going to occupy Kasabar. Kasabar, Sabar, whatever will be, will be. Moonslaker is ours to kill. That doesn't rhyme at all. Brilliant. Uh, he who quenches his thirst on the blood of the living will find cold steel his just report. So this is actually sort of rubbish. The, the you know, minus 50% uh, casualty... Uh, you know, attrition. It, it's rubbish. It's just bad, because usually if you're suffering any attrition, then you just go into encamp stance anyway on your, on your boy, so you don't suffer attrition. And also, um, one of the books of Nagash, this one, the sixth book, um, makes us immune to attrition. <laughs> just our whole faction. Uh, we took a Karakate Peaks for that. Occupy Karakate Peaks. Okay, that's an interesting one. Oh, where's this? Fifth book is uh, Lamia. Alright. That's the one we were just next to. Uh, this one is Skaven Blight. That one is oh, defeat a rogue army. This one defeat a rogue army. This one occupy the White Tower of Howarth. Well, that's mental. And this one is yeah, defeat a uh, another rogue army. Interesting. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So uh, I think all the rogue armies are going to wander around. Some might end up quite close to us. Uh, the fourth book in Agash here is really nice for the. Uh, casualty of punishment rate. Yeah, Skaven Blight, huh? Well, we can do that. Uh, I'm actually really surprised they didn't give a Book of Nagash to um, Manfred. Because he is very keen on those. Also, Gorst has one, doesn't he? Didn't Manfred give Gorst um, one of the books of Nagash? To, like, resurrect his brother or whatever? I don't know, something. Um, any old iron? No. What about rags or bones? Secure the Shifting Sands, apparently. So we did. So we did. Okay, let's go growth. Um, and let's start getting some experience. So we're quite high level, so we do want to save it so we can get all of the insane stuff. Um, we want to get all of that. Uh, though I will spend one point, I think, because, yeah, we need to get to, what, 12? So we get, you know, 10, 11, and 12, right? So we'll have another three. So we can afford to spend a smidge. Uh, I think we can afford one more, but I'm not going to risk it, because I might be, uh, Orders. I might be being stupid. I have been known to be stupid. So, let's get silver bullets as well. Okay, good. So, we're going to save those skill points. It's going to be wild. Just you wait. Okay. Yeah, that's it for the turn. We've, we've built everything we can build, and, uh, that's that. I do also want to have a little quick deal. Nobody wants to trade with us. I mean, we have no trade goods, so I can't get it, but still. Um, that's not the point. Can't exorn. They're not, not happy. Not happy. No one's happy with us being down here. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though, for while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. <laughs> he said the thing. 
Be wary, though. I love it. So anyway, uh, Jade Griffin. Jade Griffin's brilliant, very good item. Gives us uh, replenishment. So we're just going to regenerate over time, which is very, very nice. And also puts up a hero recruit rank. A ton for Warrior Priest. Huge ward save at 20%. Extra melee defense. Um, it just makes Voltmar impossible to kill. And so he can just sit and do his, you know, battle prayers uh, forever. It's wonderful. I love him. Uh, so do we want to do this now? Do we want to do this now? Yes. How's our replenishment? Not great. Not great, actually. I think we might want to go over here and finish off the vampire count this turn, though. Then we might do this the turn afterwards. Um, because if we do that, we will get a big replenishment bonus as well. Which will be nice. So, you know, kind of like that. Kind of like that. Uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this a turn later, because this will be a little bit tough, I think, when we're injured. Uh, at full health, we'll be able to do it easily. No problem at all. So yeah, we'll we'll read the fluff when we get to it. Uh, so you can you can head off. Good point. Sigma be praised. Okay, let's get him. Milland, hello Milland Hobbs Anderson. Uh, low casualties. We can actually just auto resolve this one, so I will. That no problem, no problem here. Uh, I'm gonna occupy it, Ready. even though that is part of Camry. It might make them want to attack us, but also it makes me want to attack them. Do I want to get a gold mine? We're not at war with anyone else yet, though um, I know Tic-Tac-Toe can be a bit of a, a bit of a jerk at times, so yeah, there is that. You know, Tlaqua might attack us. Um, these guys may declare war on us too. Both of them have been known to. Yeah, we'll see. I may, I may take Camry. Because remember, there's no events that I have to worry about. Yes. What is his strength rank? 79. His strength rank is absolutely pants. Um, the main thing he's going to have is just start with a Camryan War Sphinx, right? Does he still start with that? I mean, I can just turn all my guns to it and tear it apart pretty quickly. So I don't think I have to worry about it. Now I just unlock the Death Jacks and Sigmar's Sons. Extra campaign movement range for our boys, lovely. And the Drakenhof Conclave has been destroyed. Obliterated, even. There's nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. Hee hee hee. Ho ho ho. Now, let's see. Rank 10. Still not there yet. But we will be. We will be. Sigma, grant me stalker? Strength. Yeah, make him a stalker. Sounds good. Uh, right. We're going to have to wait a couple of turns, I think, before we can do the quest battle now. Uh, playing the Tuskers, I can make my hunting lodge better. That seems a bit small. Uh, let's upgrade Kasabar. I want that to be leveled up. Uh, so what I could do is actually merge some units and train more. Um, that is something I have the option to do. Nah, leave it. We're going to have to wait a couple turns. By the Helden Hammer. We're going to have to wait a couple turns by the Helden Hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I am going to upgrade the hunting lodge. We got some cash. It's all good. No other big projects on the go. Dalakwa just performed the Rite of Awakening. Which is interesting, actually. Because um, the Rite of Awakening obviously brings a Salan. Uh, wakes up a Salan. But there are no Salan left in the Southlands. Um, that's, uh, you know, a... a, a just a fact of the Southlands. The Southlands are unique in the fact they have lizardmen, but they're not the focus of any sort of lizardmen stories because they're they're just feral. They've just been left here. There's no Slan guiding them anymore. Um, they all got killed in the uh, the the oh, I want to say the Great Cataclysm. Is that the right one? I think it might be one of the many things that befall the dwarfs. They tend to name their things very dramatically. But anyway, when the gates, um, uh, the polar gates. Uh, broke and chaos poured into the world um, the shock of that killed most of the slant um, immediately it was just like a psychic shock um, just melted their brains and uh, the Southlands weren't sheltered from that they all got hit and uh, killed so the fact that he's done a right of awakening here it's like oh there is a slan here interesting you know I'm happy to say that it's uh, it's history being rewritten now that more is known, rather than it being rot, because, you know, that would be boring. 
Okay, do I want to go do that quest battle yet? I'm going to wait one more turn. I'm going to wait one more turn. Yeah, we've got nothing else on the go. Let's carry on then. And now we have faster infantry. Yay! So as regiments gain renown, their standards become talismans that are just as important as their sword arms. Absolutely. And next up we're doing the state issued um, infantry armor. Very useful stuff. Really want to attack there. <laughs> but I won't. Instead, what we can do? The quest battle. Boop. Lovely. I need to tell you to leave. Hang on. Never yield. Come on now. There we go. Uh, so, the Jade Griffin. The cult of Sigma has often answered the call to war, with the Grand Theogenist at its head, eager as any of the warrior priests to smite the foe. It is on one such doomed campaign that the Jade Griffin, a talisman of the Theogenist's office, said to have been blessed by Magnus the Pious himself, went missing. The Grand Theogenist senses the time is right to go in search of this precious antiquity, but Manfred von Karstein's undead hordes have somehow unearthed the Jade Griffins first. <gasps> no, but we killed him already. How dare you? Those von Karsteins, they never stay dead, do they? Um, Sigmar, damn them. Word soon reaches Volkmar that the Witch Hunter has picked up the trail and has divined that they are heading for Hellfen. Let's teleport. Hello there, Otto von Drack. Uh, high casualties predicted. I disagree. Let's get him. Sons of Sigma, to me, out there in that fen is a heretic holding the Jade Griffin to his chest like the grubby thief he is. To think that the talisman, a symbol of our cult blessed by Magnus himself, is now in the clutches of this necromancer and his vampire consorts. No! I say again, no! Hunt down this filth! Purge this place and strike down any who dare to rise again. By the comet, that is my decree! Alright. Should be simple enough. Uh, so, just as a, as a completely uh, distraction from the thing we're actually playing. Every time I see this, I think of an undead roller coaster, and I immediately think of the secret of Monkey Island and the treasure of Big Whoop. Every single time. For the twin There'll be some 40-year-old men in the audience who will go, Haha, yeah, yeah, it's classic. Um, and then correct me, going, actually, no, Big Whoop wasn't that bit, and, and whatever, you know, it, it's been a while. Um, I'm old, leave me alone. Okay, let's get you over here, you over here. You know, I first played uh, Monkey Island. Uh, at my cousin's house, um, and he had the, uh, the the original edition that was like got like seventeen floppy disks. <laughs> it's just amazing. So I had to swap floppy disks every time because you couldn't even install it on your computer. Like you literally just had to swap floppy disks about because of uh, there's not enough storage on a, on a computer at the time. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Purge the undead. I'm going to purge the undead. Just you wait. I mean, like, that's, that's why I'm here. I'm here to purge the undead. Like, that's the whole point. Are they actually shuffling towards me or are they just uh, shuffling? Hard to tell sometimes. Hard to tell. Um, so, I mean, they're going to try and sneak in this way, aren't they? Uh, I mean, this side, I might be alright just holding. I think we'll be okay. Some Karn Wraiths over there, though. They're going to be a problem. Because none of our boys have magic damage yet. Apart from Voltmar, of course, who will definitely have to go for them. I was hoping just to throw him in the front line. But actually, it's, uh... Hey, they got a bit of Graveguard. A bit of Graveguard in there. You yeah, know, I've got great swords, though. So, you know, it'll be fine. Yeah, I don't want to kill these Karn Wraiths. And the Black Knights. I don't think it'll be too big a problem, either. Yeah, I'm actually going to spread these guys out a bit more. Oh, yeah, here they come in. Here they come, trying to squeak in. 
should he get? Yeah, let's just get on top of that. And yeah, this works. Perfect. Alright. Might as well hit with one of those. And get all them stuck in. Might as well go all in. Most of their army is still just loitering, you know. <gasps> dire wolves. What dire tidings. And also wolves. Alright, they're blasting away. Yeah, it's doing okay. Yeah, they need to go. I need to chase these guys down. Alright, go to those skeleton warriors, I guess. Hey, yeah, guys are holding here, but it's not looking that great, is it? Getting pretty whittled down. Right, how are those direwolves doing? Oh, yeah, they're being a pain. Uh, Alright, kill them. Kill them all. Oh, crit ghouls coming in. Ooh, spooky. Spooky boys. Alright, you start heading for them, please. I mean, we're whittling them down, but uh, I gotta say, I'm I'm amazed that these Black Knights are still alive. They really don't want to go down, huh? All right, we're on the right units here. Ooh, Brave Guard over there, though. It's a bit of a trouble. Oh my God, just use the Grand Soul Fire. There we go. All right, that's working. Swordsman still fighting. Uh, got more flagellants over here. Alright, let's pull you guys back. Oh, actually, yeah, let's pull you guys back. We're gonna run in like a loony. Alright, we're gonna have you guys change your mind about everything. And, oh my word, still getting really hurt here by these crypt ghouls. Come on. Kill some more. Yeah, we're doing fine. Ish. More dire wolves. My word. This is a bit tricky, you know? Bit of a tough one. Eh. Okay, that was weird. They flashed off there. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, Alright, we're getting through. We're getting through. If we had the Jade Griffin already, we would be laughing. Oh, no. Maybe you should. No, they're dead. Alright. Let's bring you over here. Okay. You shoot that way. Uh, you guys can run this way. Okay, let's bring you over there too. And yep, dealt with them. Now let's start aiming for these graveyard. Definitely need to kill these graveyard. Jesus. Yeah, they need to go. Those graveyard are gone. Okay, more free company. Free company for days. Uh, I feel like we're going to lose uh, a unit of flagellants there. Just a hunch. Alright, let's bring you over this way. I'm glad, I'm glad. It has to speak through someone, you know. Yeah, there go the flagellants. It's alright, our cavalry are ready to come back in. And we should be able to get on top of these guys. Yep, go on. In you get. Everybody start shooting. Uh, I mean, we're going to get in the way of the zombies there. So, yeah, no, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Just these gun lines are so fun. I just love Free Company. They're such a versatile unit. Just the fact they're not really good means in the late game, like, you really can't have the versatility. You just have to have decent units most of the time. Also, can I just say, Hell is looking great at the moment. Like, all the water and the, the foliage and everything. It looks so much better than it used to. Yeah, it looks really nice. There's this inky, inky swamp land. It's very, uh, very spooky. So there we go. We have the Jade Griffin. We lost a unit. We can recruit others. It's fine. But we have the Jade Griffin now. So all the damage we're taking over there to those Crypt Ghouls, I bet we would just regenerate through all of that. Now that we have the Jade Griffin. And with a 20% ward save, yeah, we're, we're going to be laughing. It's going to be great.
Yeah, lost a flagellant. Very sad. It's what they're for. It's what they're for, but the game doesn't have them turn up randomly. I wish it did. They, I really wish they behaved like Slayers did. I really do. And it could, it could be scaled by, like, I don't know, the amount of shrines of Sigma you have or something, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know, something. The amount of untainted in your realm, you know? It could be measured in a similar way to, like, the, the corruption um, bonuses you get when you're playing as the demons, you know? We're just like, oh, the global corruption of your brand has got to this point. Unlock more abilities. It could be like that, right? But for, for, for a lack of corruption. Though it feels like you'd get less powerful over time? Huh. Maybe just the more corruption, the more flagellants show up. Because the, the doomsayers start making more sense. When, like, I don't know, all the cattle grow additional claws. Or just claws in general, not additional claws. Most cattle shouldn't have claws. Anyway, whatever. Like, it just, it'd be great. The more corruption there was, the more flagellants show up or something. Just something. Something like that. Oh, hi, Azag. Yes. So we met a few people. Uh, I'm realizing, though, we didn't meet a single person of the Empire here. Hopefully, I think there's another quest battle over here somewhere. So hopefully when we go and do that... Uh, we will get ourselves uh, contact with some of the other Empire uh, forces. This small idol shimmers with an eerie green light, bestowing unnatural regenerative powers upon the wearer. But the 20% ward save and regeneration is nuts. An extra melee defense, we're getting hit less for less damage, and we're healing through it. It's, it's just crazy. He's a good boy. So there we go. Jade Griffin done. We got five grand out of it. Got uh, big casualty replenishment. Well, I say big. Big enough. And we only leveled up once from that quest battle. Seriously? Seriously? Alright, well, one more level and we can get all of them. Oh, and I was an idiot. Yeah, if we want all of them, we did... Yeah, I did spend the correct amount of skill points. Awesome. Um, we are going to suddenly, like, jump up in power to a ludicrous extent. Uh, let's give them more missile damage. Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, so we lost some flagellants. I'll get some free company, because we've got nothing better to get. Uh, or do I, actually? Hang on. Could get Sigmar's sons, actually. Having, uh... You know, we lost an unbreakable unit, we gained an unbreakable unit. Both on brand. And Tok. We can upgrade Sudenberg four more turns before we can get a shrine to Sigma, Or possibly not. Not sure yet. What I might do, actually. What I think I will do... Screw it, I will do this. I'm going to build a wizard's conclave, recruit a wizard, and then destroy the conclave. And then I'm going to build a shrine. And then recruit some warrior priests. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's the plan. It's cheeky, but it works. Or, you never know, the game might just give us a hero. They do sometimes. The instrument of Sigmar's will. So yeah, a lot of unassigned skill points. Don't worry about it. Uh, winds of pain, extra magic. We don't need extra magic, actually. But fine. The world yields to those who master the winds of magic. Great bolts from the heavens scour souls from bodies, whilst raging torrents of fire rend the very flesh from bone. Magic can rip enemies into a dozen pieces or leave nothing but an ugly bloodstain where once they stood. The power granted by the cataclysm many eons ago could be harnessed now to bring ruin and destruction upon our enemies. All those who feel the pull of magic feel it grow as the world festers under chaos's ruinous gaze. Their need to ravage grows stronger and stronger by the hour. So speaking of bloodstains and things, uh, there's a hilarious, um, uh, like, super rare effect that can, that can happen. Uh, in Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, I think it was in 3rd edition, I want to say it was 3rd edition, uh, where basically you could, uh, if you're performing spells, you could miscast but still do the spell, right? The game was very good at having negative things happen to you when you succeeded in doing something. So it'd be like you succeed with a cost or you fail with a bigger cost or you, you know, you succeed and get a boon as well, you know? So it's really fun, you get pretty cool combinations of things happening with every action uh, where, you know, get good and bad it was it was very fun but what's hilarious is you could miscast when you cast a spell so you could cast a fireball and then you'd miscast and you'd pick from a deck and uh one of them was that you would swap places with your target you would just teleport and you just swap places so you could end up with just like you know suddenly a minotaur is stood in you know behind the rest of your gang 
uh, or it could end up you fire a fireball because your spell actually worked and then you swap places with your target. So you shoot a fireball and then you are in front of your fireball and you blow yourself up with a fireball. It's, you just get ridiculous things happening. And I just thought that was, uh, I always thought that was really fun and it really captures the sort of uh, randomness of, uh, of, of sort of chaos in, in Warhammer. It's very fun. But yeah, really the just silly, silly combinations gonna get. Uh, so, Kemri. Of course, like a bunch of stuff was, you know, sometimes you just hurt yourself or whatever. You know, some of the best casts are a bit boring. But the one swapping with your target is just hilarious. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I kind of want a gold mine. I kind of want to have a gold mine. But I know that attacking this guy probably isn't wise. Strength rank 8e6. He's got three settlements. I mean, I see all of them. They're all here. <laughs> Uh, what borders him? Because it's, uh, chaos up here, right? We're gonna see, um, uh, uh, uh... Oh, what's his buddy name? The Corn Hero. Uh, Scarbrand. Might end up fighting Scarbrand, which I think would be very cool for our faction to do. Uh, I do also really need to get that book, but I don't necessarily need to get the book with Volkmar, do I? I could. I could get the book with somebody else. That's a little scary, though, at the moment. We, we definitely want to get some more replenishment before I attack. Oh, also, when you get books, by the way, um, it fills up these uh, these little pips, which gives us cheaper upkeep, uh, as well as a bunch of other things, but uh, like ward saves, which is crazy for characters. Um, but the big thing with it is it's what gives you all of the cool toys that you get in the Empire campaign normally by... Um, you know, getting sort of installing elect accounts. So we're going to get access to all of the awesome uh, rune fang swords that the elect accounts wield. We're just going to get them for some reason. And also we can unlock all the really cool regiments right now. So getting the books is very important. Um, gives us a lot of good stuff. Like an awful lot of good stuff. It means 70% upkeep reduction for state troops. Really, really cool. Oh, that's elect account state troops. So it's just the named ones up here, but still a big deal. Alright, we're just going to have to sit tight. We're just going to have to sit tight here. Oh, we have building upgrades, actually. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade Bagar, Sudenberg, a few more turns. Luckily, we still got some cash. Still got some cash. Okay. Let's get them. Oh, hello, Kasabar. You just upgraded. Lovely. Uh, could go for grazing pastures. Could go for the City of Bronze. Ooh, that seems good. Uh, this has some good stuff. Can we get extra growth? Uh, which is obviously great. I mean, I would like to just put walls on it so I don't have to worry about this getting taken, though. Because uh, who might take it? Anyone. I mean, the dwarves might decide to attack me. Like a bunch of jerks. So I think we might have to play it safe and go for walls first. Just so we know we can defend it. Because, uh, again, these guys may attack me at any point. They're kind of jerks, these guys. Um, Darkness comes. Templehof wants a non-aggression pact. Well, that's an interesting one. Hi, Bob. Lord of the the Bowmen of Orion are getting close. Men of the Empire. I can balance it. If I give him a grand, I can get 70 on. per turn, which isn't great, honestly. But funnily enough, I'm still going to do it. Because I want to make sure they don't declare war on me. You know, I want to keep them sweet. Anyway, Kazabar, put up growth as well. And now, I think might be the time to attack Kemri. Sigma, grant me strength. Yeah, I'm sorry, Setra, we're fighting you. Um, oh, he seems to be visiting the World Cup right now. Well, all right then. Uh, to play war. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe doing this. Because they will really like us as we start gaining power, you know. They do do that. Uh, it says we're going to lose horribly here. And, I mean, they've got Tomb Guard and Nehekara Warriors. And, uh, for some reason, their lord is a skeleton infantry called... Uh, Thot Momonzu. Thot Momonzu. Great name. Um, but no, we're going to fight this. We're going to win. Okay, Voltmar himself can duel most of these guys. They all have quite low armor. Grand Sulfire is going to tear through thousands of skeletons. We're going to have a great old time. Next episode. Haha, <laughs> got you. You thought we'd carry on the fun. No, I'm, I'm a harsh mistress. So guys, if you enjoyed this, come and like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.